Oopsie. Okay, so I decided since I've got a lot of brush to pick up, uh, dead tree limbs or down tree limbs, brush, etc., etc., out at the other house to pick up and get onto a burn pile, I thought it might be helpful to uh, make a decent trailer for out at the other property. So basically, what do I got here? All of this lumber. All of these uh, two by fours are all salvaged from the uh, first house that I was doing a, a demolition on a couple of walls or a few walls. Um, this is just some leftover trim that was in the in the basement. Um, the axle. This I pretty well just fabricated together. I'll give you a close-up shot of it before it's all said and done. Basically, it's just a piece of angle iron and uh, two pieces of one-inch steel that I necked down to three-quarters of an inch for the actual tires to ride on. The tires and rims are off of a John Deere L120 that blew its transmission up. Um, I need to shorten the frame lengthwise a little bit. The idea is dimensionally, <clears throat> I want to have it four foot across here so that it will fit into the truck bed or my pickup truck beds and no more than eight foot long front to rear again. So it will completely fit into the truck bed. And I figure I could cheat a little bit, angle these out, and get ever so slightly more volume for the, the cargo area of this thing. Um, I've got some fence pickets that I'm going to probably put down for the, the bed of this thing. Some old cedar fence pickets, again, that I scrounged up or cut down from the other properties. So, <clears throat> basically, I mean, it almost just needs to start being screwed together now, but I still need to fit things up a little bit. I need to narrow these boards down a fuzz. I think they're just a little bit over four foot. And there again, this is what I'm going to make the hitch out of for it. This is steel from... The fuel oil tank that I took out of the one property so an awful lot of it is going to be just salvaged material oopsie keep bumping into stuff so it's gonna be a fairly handy trailer I think try and give you a little close-up of what I got going with the axle oh I with regards to the axle, I still need to make a plate of steel that I'm going to weld on to um, the actual axle itself. And then I can screw up underneath to the, uh, to the main frame. Let me see if I can get you underneath here and kind of show you. So basically, yeah, it's a piece of angle iron with a couple of one inch shafts on each end welded in. I need to do a little bit more welding to them yet, but it's about as rudimentary as rudimentary can get, but I think the uh, whole effect is gonna be very, very good, very positive. <clears throat> and I don't think I'm gonna have an issue with these uh, two forwardmost boards uh, these guys here as far as wanting to tip and if I do I'll just get some plumber strap and secure them underneath on each side and that way it'll put the plumber strap in tension and compensate for the opposite side in theory but anyways I just figured there'd be a couple people out there that would get a kick out of this um, I was 
working with the lathe today to get the axle shafts made and my new little lathe table and overhead magnetic strip helped out a bit. I mean, granted, this was a fairly simple turning job, but those two little new little um, pieces really made a big difference. So hopefully in a few days, I'll have a, a little bit of an update on this thing and hopefully eventually take it out there and kind of show it in use. So till later.